Welcome to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, we're changing a P-trap. Uh, this one, I would assume, froze and busted. It just popped a, let me see here. It popped that threaded collar off. That's a captured nut. And once it, uh, once it breaks, um, no good anymore. So, but the really stupid thing is, you can't find you can't find this P-trap. Um, none of my RV suppliers have this that I can find. Maybe they have it. I just can't find it. Um, end up finding this one on Amazon because usually what I do, because um, this is an RV specific P-trap, and. Um, Usually when these things would freeze and bust, I would just replumb it with uh, a residential P-trap. Uh, just cut cut all the RV stuff off, replumb it with residential. I would go to my nearest big box store and get uh, what I needed and do it that way. But now we have Amazon and uh, be a good time to plug my Amazon store. This will be in my Amazon store by the time you see this video. There's a lot of other stuff in there, tools and parts that I use every day. Uh, so go check that out and uh, let's let's get started because it's just gonna be a really short little video this is her old one so this piece this piece where y'all at this piece glues in and uh, so the one I bought this is not glued yet so what we need to do is cut this off so it's as short as possible because this one the collar for the for that fitting goes really low so let's cut this off real quick glue it together we'll put this together i'm gonna go in there and just make sure this really fits really nice too maybe this should have been a little longer let me go check that out i'll be right back yes this does need to be as short as possible so put a little mark on here No, I have to get a silver sharpie. What did we do before we had silver sharpies? Well, we didn't write on black stuff very easy, that's for sure. Alrighty. See how crooked I can cut it? That's usually how this goes. I don't think I've ever cut a piece of PVC pipe off. Straight. Nice and crooked. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. A little slow right now. Not the truck will be there tomorrow. All right, I got it straightened up enough. Get the burrs out. Let's glue this baby. First thing we do is get uh, cleaner all over us. Right? All over the truck, all over me, all over everything. Because that's what you do, or it's what I do. And I get glue all over me and truck and everything else. Slap her together. Tch, 
<laughs> like I said, get glue everywhere. Go find a rag. That's ridiculous. Give that a few minutes to dry while I'm picking my tools up, and we'll be right back. So you guys are in a shop. Do y'all have y'all have these P-traps in your parts room? Mobile guys, where do you get them? I, don't know. I think it's silly. So we're just gonna slap this back together. Put a rubber gasket in. Get that started. Oh, I think. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to be where y'all are. Y'all, y'all not gonna be able to see. I'll put you up here. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Now we leak test. that leak come from I'm gonna have to go get a light so I can see that nut right there was a little bit loose that ain't all of it it's still dripping seriously put the gasket in there it's coming right out of that captured nut sure that gasket I mean that, that gasket can't really go anywhere there it is brand new gasket brand new fitting make sure there's no burr or anything on the bottom of that looks good I don't know why it would leak Let's try this again. Still leaking. 
Not as much as it was. That's ridiculous. Coming out from under that captured nut. Well, holy crap. Well, after way too much trouble, we finally got all the leaks stopped and uh, we're out of here. So, y'all get down there and do y'all know what to do. And I'm going to go up there and fix another one. Y'all have a fantastic day.